It's called Moody Street, but many shopkeepers jokingly refer to it as Foodie Street because of its vast array of restaurants. You can eat fancy or ethnic on this Waltham Boulevard or chow down, say, on classic all-American comfort food at In a Pickle Restaurant. One of my favorites is the New Jersey Sloppy Joe, and that's kind of from where my roots are. It's a triple-decker, rare roast beef, coleslaw, Russian dressing, Swiss cheese, and it's huge. Not many people can, can finish that. This eatery got its quirky name 14 years ago because owner Tim Burke was literally in a pickle, struggling to scrape enough money together to launch his restaurant. No worries today, as this place is now a Moody Street magnet, pumping out eye-popping omelets, French toast, and pancakes. We like to think it's really big here. We like to make it Instagrammable for everybody so they can post it online. If they want to follow us, it's In a Pickle Restaurant. You can find us there. Burke says In a Pickle reflects the spirit of Moody Street. Unpretentious, eclectic, tried and true. I would say 80% of our customers are regulars, so they've been here before. We love to hear about people's lives. We like to see their kids go off to college. We like to see our students here get full-time jobs in the area. Walk Moody Street, and you'll see a United Nations of faces. Walk the alleys, there's provocative art, and the stores, they sell goods from all over the world. What I love about Moody Street is the diversity. There aren't a whole lot of chains. There's a lot of independent businesses. It's not a fancy place, and yet there are wonderful restaurants. Dinny Meyerson opened her whimsical gift store, Gourmet Pottery, way back before Moody Street was a thing, and nearly 20 years later, it's now a must-stop. Chock full of enticing art and kitsch, Gourmet Pottery stays open until 10 p.m. weekends. Restaurant diners can stroll the store pre- or post-meal to buy gifts or just have a chuckle. My favorite is when they come in and bring a friend and they say, this is my favorite shop and that's really good feedback. <laughs> the newest restaurant on Moody Street is this festive taqueria called El Rincon. Opened by the owners of the adjacent Moody Street Deli and the back room, this cozy eatery serves up the street food of Mexico. Tacos are huge in the food world right now, and El Rincon offers a variety layered with Wagyu beef, chicken, and slow-roasted pork. We have Al Pastor taco that is really Mexican, really popular, and also we have the carnitas one. They have a little bit touch of spiciness on it. It makes the flavor with the pork and the tortilla like awesome. El Rincon also dishes up melt-in-your-mouth platters of barbecue, each with homemade sides. The house guacamole here is an excellent way to start a meal. This sweet Mexican cake, the way to cap it off. Or just stroll in for a margarita while gazing at the decor, paying homage to Mexico's Day of the Dead. Our main point is make our guests happy, provide them the best food that we can do, give our best job to make them feel welcome in this place and be part of our family. Just steps away from Moody Street, a bookstore with a social mission. More Than Words receives donations of three million used books a year, which they resell in two stores and through internet sites like Amazon. That generates income for their core goal, training trouble, sometimes court-mandated young adults with the skills to succeed. We really believe and we've seen that an actual job where people get paid to do that job gives them a sense of purpose, a sense of direction, and a sense of motivation. And we see that result in our outcomes. The sales of used books, we're told, generate more than $4 million in income for More Than Words, allowing the nonprofit to hire 250 young people at a time. Young people like Isaiah. When I first came here, I was dealing with homelessness. Me and my mom were in a homeless shelter. Now I, I live with my girlfriend, but I pay rent. Because I'm able to pay rent, I have a steady income. This program's really helping me a lot. For 18-year-old Cassandra, it's been equally transformative. It'll help you learn life skills, your next job, your career. I found a purpose here. Donating books is easy. They're accepted at More Than Words bookstores here and in Boston South End, or drop them into collection boxes located all over Massachusetts. And by repurposing a book, a young life 
is given purpose. More than 90% of our young folks are what we call productive, two years beyond more than words. So that means that they're working and or in school for at least 30 hours a week. That's a big deal. I wake up more happy. I wake up and I think that I have some place to go other than running the streets. Now I see that working is important. Having a career is important. I just want to be successful like anybody else. Great program. And back to Elvin Conde Moody. The restaurant is actually temporarily closed, mm. but the owner, Joshua Smith, says it is coming back after a few adjustments. And back to Gourmet Pottery's Denny Meyerson. She calls herself, I love this, a hunter-gatherer <laughs> because she goes out and finds all these sort of eclectic items which are represented in her store, obviously. And in many ways, that's Moody Street. Mm -hmm. It's a very international place. Um, there's lots of different foods. Right. There's lots of different shops. They've got everything from wedding dresses to Star Wars collectibles to carpet stores. Uh, it's a great international feel and you just walk down the street and pick a nation to go check out something for everyone absolutely there you go